Hello students, today I am going to teach about some basics in the logarithms, right, okay. What is meant by logarithms? Logarithms is used to make the long and the complications, some complicated calculations which should be easily we can handle, okay. The numbers are which is heavy, which is very very big numbers, that numbers we are going to deal with very small numbers. Right. In sense, log thousands I can write like a three only. Right. Log hundred I can write here it is two only. Right. Log it will be like log ten thousand. It will be like only it is be what it is uh, ten to the power of uh, uh, three to ten to the power of four. It will be four only. Okay. So log uh, very very big numbers. I am going to write in very smallest number. I am going to deal the numbers in very smaller way. Right, this is the logarithms. Okay, now I am going to here this 3 to the power of 4 is equal to 81. You know this number, right, guys? 3 to the power of 4 means 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 is equal to 81. Okay, this exponential form that I am going to write in the form of logarithmic form. How to write this means 3 to the power of 4 is equal to 81. Right, how can I write in sense this is log 81 to the base 3 equal to 4. Okay, 3 to the power of 4 is 81 already we know this is exponential form which we have studied in this lower classes. But here I am telling log 81 to the base 3 is 4. This is the way to write the logarithmic form. Okay. Now one more, see now here uh, log sorry a to the power of uh, b is equal to c. How can I write this? Here log c base a equal to b. I can read like this guys log c base a equal to b. Okay, see now here one logarithmic form I am I am giving you have to write in the form of exponential form here. See listen here uh, log okay um, um, 64 it is log 864 it is equal to 1 by 2. Log 8 base 64 is equal to 1 by 2. How can I write in this exponential form in sense 64 to the power of 1 by 2 which is equal to 8. Am I right? 64 to the power of 1 by 2 is 8 or not? Yes, it is right because it is root 864 it is. Root 64 is 8. I can write this number like this way. This way I can write this, this and then this. 64 to the power of 1 by 2 is equal to 8. This relation is make like that, right? 64 to the power of 1 by 2 is equal to 8. This way you come. Right? Okay, guys. Now, what I am going to give some of the small, small sums only I am going to do here. It is very, very big sums. Many laws you have, some rules you have, right? Uh, the next video that I will do it. But here I am going to give here small, small examples, small, small uh, sums we are going to do here. Okay. Uh, before that, one simple formula only you have to know it. See here, log 1 is equal to 0. What is that? Log 1 is equal to 0. Then log a base a is equal to 1. Only use these two now. Log 1, 1 is equal to 0. Log a base a is equal to 1. Log 10 base 10 is equal to uh, 1. Uh, log 100 base 10, 100 is equal to 1. So, whatever the number here, the same number which you have in the base, that is equal to 1. Okay. Then always log 1 is 0. Don't care about the base would be anything. The log 1 is always 0 only guys here. Log 1 is 0. Right. So, these two only I am going to deal here. I will upload uh, more videos on logarithmics. Right. Now, Simple problems only I am going to deal here. Okay. Here now you see the logarithmic logarithm of 1000 to the base 10. How can you write this? Logarithm, right. 
Uh, what is the value I'm asking? Logarithmic for 1000 base 10. How can you write this, guys? See, logarithmic 1000 base 10, it is there. Now, is equal to x. I want the value, right, for this. I want the value, right? Yeah. How can you write this uh, 10 to, uh, what is this? Log 1000 to the base 10 is equal to x. Exponential form, how can you do, uh, do it? 10 to the power of x is equal to 1000. Am I right? Okay. Then 10 to the power of x is equal to 10 cube. Can I write now? This 1000, I can write 10 cube, right? Okay. So, base is equal, then power is also equal. So, I can write directly x is equal to 3. Easily, I find the value of this value, this one. x is equal to 3 now. I already first one day I told you log 1000 is equal to 3. See, log 1000 is equal to 3. Right. So, I found log 10,000 is equal to 4. 4, right. Log 1 lakh is equal to 5. So, this way it will be okay. Now, the next number. The logarithmic of log of 1 by 9 base 3 equal to x now. Find the value of x here. Again, the same thing I am going to do. 3 to the power of x is equal to 1 by 9. I am going to convert into exponential form here. Right. So, how can you write this 1 by 9? I cannot make it right, this one. So, here I am going to do 9 to the power of minus 1. 1 by 9 is a 9 inverse. 9 inverse is 1 by 9. Okay. So, 3 to the power of x is equal to 9 to the power of minus 1. I want to solve for x here. So, what I will do, the same base should be there. Then, whatever the power it is there, then I can I can equalize that equal with the, with the x now. So what I am telling here, this 3 is here, here 9 is there. I have to, this is rewrite in the form of 3. So this is 3 square. This is what? 3 square to the power of minus 1. I didn't test a minus 1. Just like that, 3, 9, I have written 3 square. Now 3 power of x is equal to 3 in 3 to the power of minus 2, a to the power of n, see this is the formula, a to the power of m, the whole power of n is equal to a to the power of m into n. This is the formula you know. So, a to the power of m, the whole power of n is equal to a to the power of m into n. So, it is 2 into minus 1 is equal to minus 2 here. Now, that base is same, the powers is also same. So, x is equal to minus 2, I got it. Okay, it is a very, very basic thing you have to know. Okay, right. Now the next is find the value of x, right? Very basic sums only we are going to do sums today here. Okay, so log 2, log x base 2 equal to minus 2. How can you do this here? It is log x base 2 is equal to minus 2. I want the value of x here now. That is different sum. This is different sum, right? This is x. Now, you have to you have to represent this logarithmic form to uh, exponential form here. So, what I will do here, 2 to the power of minus 2 is equal to x. I have converted into exponential form first, right. 2 to the power of minus 2 is what? 2 square we know it is 4. What is 2 to the power of minus 2, right? I will write first of all in the base, minus is there, 2 square I am writing. First of all, negative is there. I do not want negative in the power. So, I have to keep this one here. 1 by 2 power of 2 square is equal to x. In sense, a power of minus m is equal to 1 by a power of m. This formula, you, you, have, you know this, right? Before in this uh, powers and exponents and all, you read the formula. a power of minus m is equal to 1 by a power of m. Right, guys? So, 2 power of minus 2 is equal to 1 by 2 to the power of 2. So, 1 by 4 equal to x. 1 by 4 is equal to x. Otherwise, I can tell 4 inverse. It is very easy. Anyway, it is same, right? 1 by 4 is equal to x. I found the value of x. The next thing is. The next thing is. One more problem. Log to the power of. 4 I mean log base 4 is x plus 3 equal to 2 and one more thing I want to tell you guys here log see now log uh, 10 is there is equal to 1 
So yeah, what is this ma'am? What is this base? What they didn't give only here? If the base didn't give anything, take it as 10 only. Okay. If they give base 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, like whatever it is. If they give the base, then keep the base what they have given only. But if they didn't give the base, you have to take 10 only always. Default it is, right? Default you have to take 10 only. Okay, guys. The next thing is uh, log x plus 3 to the base 4 is equal to 2 here. Now, take the exponential form. So, 4 square is equal to x plus 3, right? So, 16 is equal to x plus 3. Again, linear equation is this. Linear equation, how to find the value of x? This plus 3 is there. You have to bring this one here. So, 16 minus 3 is equal to x. So, what is x here? x is equal to 13, right? The, what is the value of x here? I got the value here. It is 13 it is. Right, okay. Then the next problem, the last problem, right? So, the difficult problems and all, it is there. Then I will upload, I mean, uh, later. First of all, you have to learn very basics. If you understand this basic only, you can learn more about this. Then log x 64 is equal to 3 by 2. Okay, guys. Here this value. Now, here the here it is x. Okay. Before I, I was I was seeing here, the base x was here. Now the base the x is here now. Right. Now, how to do this? x to the power of 3 by 2 is equal to 64. x to the power of 3 by 2 is equal to 64. How can I make it like 3 by 2 on the top? How you do this? So, this 3 by 2 is there, right? If, we, if this is moving to this side, what will be happening? Tell me. This 3 by 2 is there. This, this one I am, I, am, I am converting to here. This 3 by 2 will be 2 by 3 will go. You understand guys? X is, X is equal to 64 to the power of 2 by 3 it is. To 3 by 2, the power will be moving to this side. It will be reciprocally will go. It is 2 by 3, right? So, 64 to the power of 2 by 3. What is 64? How can I write this? 2 to the power of 6 is... 2 to the power of 6 is 64. Now, I can write a to the power of m. The whole power of n is equal to a power of m into n it is. So, 2 to the power of 6 into 2 by 3. This is 2. So, that will be 2 to the power of... 2 twos are it is... I will write here. 2 to the power of... 4 that is 16 is your answer the answer is what 16 right that is the value of x that is the value of x you understand guys the one simple concept only here this 3 by 2 is in the power power is in the form of fractional so this this will be going this side in sense it will be reciprocally will go some proofs and all it is there. Now you can understand first of all what actually is the problem. Then I will do the proof and all later. Okay. 3 by 2 will be going this side means 2 by 3. So 2 to the power of 6 and 2 by 3. So you will be getting the value is 16. 2 to the power of 4 is nothing but 16. Okay guys. Thank you.